grow should be still existing now. Reincarnation should have happened only up to the limit of future. But since the, the population is increasing over the ages or as the century goes on, from where does the self germinate? Is there some source that self get multiplied by? How this natural phenomenon is happening? Is there any logic to find out? I, I, I'll just say this much and let uh, this question be answered on the last day. Okay, but what I will say is that animals also have self. Population of animals is going down. <laughs> okay, that is one thing. And the other, you know, we'll explore more about this uh, question about germination. That is a deeper question. So we are, uh, I, I'm not going to take that question. But animal also has self. Population of animals is reducing. The kind of consciousness that lot of people exhibit is what we can see. So uh, you can draw your own conclusion from that. Yeah. Okay. So we can see, you know, that this body includes brain. Yeah. And whatever sensation that I am getting by the body being in contact with something external. So this external thing, okay, it could be any of these things. So you get any of these sensations and it is up to the self to read it or not to read it. One thing. Second thing is for the self to then instruct the body for its whatever action. So sit down is an action. All these actions, these, these actions, pray, play, these are act, act, instructions that the self is giving to the body to participate in. Self is doing something and body is doing something. In that. So, this it is time to think. He needs to yes. Can yeah, mind, can mind experience all these touch, sound, sight, smell, taste at a time? Yeah, if we see that, if we understand is we are sequentially, but in living, all this is, you know, all together. I've seen uh, people eating food, looking at the TV, listening to your mobile at a time. Sometimes driving a car with a smoking, eating doma, and then again uh, telephone, mobile at a time. Yeah. I, I don't know, but uh, this is possible. Uh, it is. Or it's just. It is possible, but that the outcome of this type of activity. Uh, will be not very, uh, you know, this meaningful. Unless one is very clear about you know, doing two things at the same time. But people do. Yeah, it is possible. But, for example, you can find out, you know, if you are eating food in front of TV, okay, you are likely not to have good digestion. Very common. And of course, that is a very bigger side effect. Everybody sitting in front of the TV like, you know, like that and not talking to each other. <laughs> yeah. So, it is possible to do more than one thing. It seems to be, you know, it's like that time division, whatever the computer does. Our brain is much, or our brain and our mind is much faster than that. Yeah. So, just to sum up, now we did these three exercises and we found that our need of self is very significant, okay? We have not been paying attention to ourselves. 
So we need to find out what to do now. That is one conclusion. Second exercise we found that most of our desires are not coming through our self verification. And in that sense, you know, we are only 10% Swatantra or some very small percentage of us, our living or being is Swatantra. Most of it is driven by something else, either preconditioning or sensation. Okay. That second conclusion. And therefore, from this, we need to find out what to do. And the third thing was about the, the activities of the self and body. The idea of this is to be able to differentiate between self and body. That they are two different realities and there is a coexistence of these. We can explore, explore this uh, for, for ourselves. If we don't explore it for ourselves, then it won't be real for us. It's just a set of new other. So these are the three conclusions. So we can self-explore this during tea time.